guys, what's up? It is, not Monday, it is June 4th, Saturday, June 4th. Wow, only a month, only a month until July 4th. Half the year has already passed. This is a quick old year going by. Okay, anyway, whatever, let's talk about it. This is Range Report, June 4th, let's get into it. All right, do I have like stuff on my face or whatever? Sometimes I go back and I look post on these things and I've rubbed like carbon crap all over my face, so hopefully not. Doesn't really matter, because I'm not gonna reshoot this. Here we go, the main things we worked on. We worked on some Pro Mags, right? Uh, Pro Mags for the Flux Raider. This is a fun little guy. Um, the Dead Air Ghost is on here. We're kind of playing around with that. We did some shooting and stuff with that. That was pretty fun. We zeroed in this guy. This is something, I, I, I'm pleasantly happy with this thing. This is, this is pretty cool, the, the SIG, got a little scratch on it. The SIG Legacy. SIG MCX Legacy, the, the first gen basically. So it's got, I think, a longer piston up here. Uh, other than that, it uses a different handguard. Skinnier, lighter weight barrel, from what I understand. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. I do not believe this is the recalled version. Actually, I think it is recalled version, but I can't remember. I don't know. They had an issue with like their prime, their strikers or something. I don't remember. Firing pin, something. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's this guy. And we are using on the lower, this is an unbranded AR LLC. This is from Peace Geek, uh, an Ambi lower. So it's actually pretty stinking cool. I actually really like it. The trigger on here is a little bit rough. A little bit rough. Um, yeah, a little bit rough. But it's all right. Uh, we were able to put it on paper, get it finally zeroed with an EOTech, of all things. And it shot really well. Really well. We didn't make a full video about that, so that's why I'm giving you more information here because I'm not, I'm not spoiling a video. Um, but it shot really well. With Tula 55 grain stuff, it was it was actually very nice. With the with the uh, YHM Turbo K on here, sounded really nice. I mean, it's right there where... I mean, you wouldn't want to do it all day, necessarily, and do it real quick, right? like mag dumps without ears on. But, I mean, especially, imagine hunting deer and stuff with this kind of thing. This would be really quiet. This would be nice for that. This would be very nice for that. Imagine like a home defense kind of setup with this. This would be really nice. It is surprisingly, surprisingly nice. And um, I have ordered a a the Dead Air Sierra 5, right? The Dead Air 556 five, can. And I have great hopes that that will be a wonderful little addition to this little fella. Anyway, that was this guy. And that was fun. Uh, it was fun getting it zeroed in, sighted in. We sighted it in and we we got some aid sighting it in with a, I already put it away, a little uh, laser bore sighter. Uh, we played around with that today. We used that on the 300 Blackout. That was a fun little build. Um, we've talked more about that build over on Patreon, but that is a super fun little guy. It's not quite done yet, uh, but I'm working that over there on Patreon. We got it sighted in today. Um, super excited about that. Shoots very well uh, with subsonic. It's just a joy to shoot. It's just fun, especially with the right suppressor. Yeah, if you watch my 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 Dead Air uh, 300 Blackout suppressor, you've seen that gun before then, and you know how quiet it can be with a big old Nomad L with the e-brake on it, shooting subs wet. Man, that is like... It's James Bond stuff right there. Anyway, other than that, I feel like there's some other stuff we did. Uh, well, with the Ghost, we played around with the Ghost, different um, uh, different platforms and stuff, just kind of getting an ear for it and things, and it, it, did, it did well. It did what it needed to do. A uh, little update on the cam lock system. You need to check cam locks, man. You need to check your whatever mounting system you have to your host for a pistol suppressor. You got to keep checking it. I don't care if you got cam lock. Easy lock, haven't tried it yet, um, or any traditional direct thread thread. You got to check it. Um, during my testing today with the stuff on here, the Raider and Pro Mags and stuff, I had the can blow off twice. Not good. No baffle strikes, but uh, that was crazy. Um, also, I knew I was forgetting something. We did something we said we were going to do if we hit a big number of views on a certain video. And uh, we never hit that, and I, I don't even remember how the video is going. It's going well, but uh, we brought out a dead air mask, the 22 can, and we shot that on an AR-15. I'm not gonna show you it because I don't want you to be spoiled whether it worked, whether it didn't work, how it sounded, how maybe it didn't sound, how maybe it sounded better than we thought, how maybe it didn't. I'm gonna leave that up for you guys to, to decide. That video is gonna get all edited up and posted over on Patreon and sit there for a little while and let you guys stew um, and kind of be like bait for you guys to go over there to uh, Patreon if you wanna help out. Be great if you did, um, but ultimately that video will show up on YouTube, not exactly sure when. Um, 
sometime, sometime it'll go there. But it will go relatively quickly over to Patreon once I can get it all edited and put together. Um, since we're done, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit that stuff up. Patreon, if you want to support the channel, best way possible. Everybody says it that way. But it is true because it's the easiest way to just help out the channel and give us money, right? So we can buy bullets, we can buy these suppressors, we can buy this stuff, we can buy magazines, we can put gas in the truck, I can buy sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits, all that kind of stuff. Patreon's the best way to do it. Um, if you, in, that, in that way, you get early release kind of stuff, uh, videos, you get the uh, extracurricular video kind of thing, or extra, pre extra projects, basically, um, and an extra video a week. But I try to put out more of a current up-to-date kind of video kind of thing. Also, we got Teespring if you want merchandise and stuff and things, hats, t-shirts, and whatnot and stuff. And then we're on Rumble, Instagram, and Gunstreamer. I knew there was one more, and Gunstreamer. If you want to go over and check out any of, any of that stuff out, links and that stuff is down below. All right? And now I'm starting to get the rhythm of that kind of thing, and now I feel like a shill. Anyway, that's fine. It is what it is. Um, somebody's got to pay for this stuff. That's it. If you got any questions about any of the stuff you saw here or any of the stuff we talked about, please do let me know. I really do like interacting with you guys, and um, hopefully this, the videos coming out will be good. I'm very excited about it. We're right in the midst of the beginnings of summer, the latter end of spring, heading into summer. It's like 73 degrees, and it's warm and getting sweaty, and all the snow's going away, and all the dirt's coming out, and the bugs coming back out, and the, the pollen is in the air, all this stuff. It's great as fantastic. It's wonderful. I'm in a good mood. All right. Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you watching, subscribing, everything, and hopefully we'll catch you next week. See ya.